Coach, that was a great win there. Well, there's no question. Um, you know, and really, the last couple of weeks has, has seen a whole difference in the demeanor of our team and how we approach. And I don't know if it was a great game start to finish, but we had a wonderful first half, wasn't it? It's about as good as we could play in that first half, but I think that carried over for the second. You guys really did real well in the first half. You got Ron Lee leading the way with 26. Another player really stepped well in that first half, Mitchell Wedling with 14. Well, this was probably Mitch's best game uh, scoring-wise of the year. And I think the, the reason for that was we haven't done a lot of the things that we did with him today. And I think that, that kind of caught them off guard. So again, all his shots were pretty much layups. And so we basically used him on a pick and roll, old fashioned play, just he just sit down and once they would hedge hard up on top, we were able to get some good looks inside. Of course, you've done a real good job. You guys got to a great start in that first half, took a 19 point lead. The second half was more like a defensive battle. Well, it, it was a struggle. Um, one, we wanted to, to win the second half. I mean, but we really struggled. I, and I thought it's because they stepped up their game uh, much more aggressive. We had a harder time executing our offense. And I think anytime you get up, uh, I wasn't happy with our urgency. We, we waited and then we were easy to guard because we were waiting till the end of the shot clock. And that's not us. And so I thought we played a little soft, but I give them a lot of credit that they they really got after us, you know, and they got it to 10 or 11, you know, uh, for fairly early in that half. And if it would have got to single digits, you don't know what would have happened at that point. And I was just happy that we kept our composure. Of course, you got a big one there with Mid-America Nazarene on Wednesday night. You know Coach Lamar has done a really fine job with this ball club. What do you know about that team? Well, right now they're the hottest team in the country. Um, they're first in the conference. Uh, they won tonight against Graceland, so that's their 11th or 12th game in a row that they've won. Uh, they've, they've added a couple of transfers this semester, and they haven't lost since they've added them. And uh, so I think they're going to be a top 10 team probably. Uh, they'll be awfully close to top 10 by next week. So it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a huge challenge for us because they're a tough team to match up with. But here's, you know, here's our scenario. Um, we went on that eight game losing streak and we struggled and we were playing well enough to win most of those games. And here now the last two weeks, we've now gotten on a four game winning streak. We're starting to regain our confidence back. Players are starting to get that itch to wanna see how high up we can finish. We got a couple statements to make. We got William Penn and Ben America in our last four games. So this is our chance to see where we're at before the playoffs come. So I think we'll be ready. Of course, you were in, of course, in the number seven spot in the Heart America Conference saying with four games to go, what do you think is the most important thing you want to accomplish heading into the conference tournament? Well, we got, we got to end with some momentum. Now, obviously, if we finish today, that's four game winning streak. We got four tough games ahead of us. So, and we got the two top teams in the conference to play. We just got to keep getting better. Um, you know, right now we tied for six. Uh, if we could finish at that spot, it's going to be hard to finish. The, you're not going to finish the top three. We don't have that capability. And the only way we can really finish in fourth and fifth is for those teams to lose three of the four games. But that can happen because we're going to play those teams. So we'll have at least a chance at it. But we don't want to finish any lower than where we're at right now because I think that's a pretty good place in the conference. We'd get a home court the first round, and then we'd get an opportunity to be in a position that if we get hot, we can go through and win it. So we just got to keep getting better, and I think we'll be in good shape. Well, Curtis Farr Small, congratulations on this victory there. Hey, let's wish you guys good luck against Mid-America on Wednesday. Looking forward to seeing you next Saturday as well. You betcha. Thank you. All right, you're welcome.